We have Nia Jax versus Rhea Bloody Ripley uh, and for the women's title. This match, I think, is actually going to be really good. Nia is on the run of her career, and so is Rhea. But, like, that's more, like, in our faces and apparent and good uh, where, uh, dude, Jay, I am just as shocked as you are. Yeah, DIY and Judgment Day aren't main event and they've never main evented anything, honestly. It's they're, crazy. They're, they're, they're also not even there. Yeah, they're not even wrestling, which is the crazy part. Oh, uh, I thought that was the tag match. I was no, like, no, it's pretty strong style. No, 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 it's it's DX, bro. What are you talking about? Anyway, and that's what's DIX. DIX. Look, oh, we can't do that t shirt. <laughs> I mean, we can, it's a t shirt. Uh, James, make us some t shirts, but. Rhea Ripley on the run of her career, uh, top of the world, borderline top star in the company that isn't Roman Reigns versus Nia Jax, who has just been genuinely really good since coming back. And I keep saying it like it's a surprise, uh, which it shouldn't be at this point, but it's still weird to say. It doesn't feel natural to say, but it's the truth. Nia has been great. She's had some really, really good matches. Uh, she's been on a roll. And this has been culminating to have this giant, giant moment for Rhea Ripley in their home country to have her Sami Zayn moment from last year, uh, to have her bad buddy moment from Puerto Rico. Like, she's going to love this.